Okay, so now the goal is we are going to create a quick, go ahead. He is good on this area. Go ahead, you can continue. Okay, so first of all, we are going to create a new template here. So to create a new template, uh, we have to give the name of this template. So let's say we are going to create multiple templates, one for mobile app testing, Android mobile app, when one another one is for iOS mobile app, then desktop app, then uh, web app. So we can create multiple templates for this. Okay. So let's say we are going to create a template to uh, the e-commerce web app um, testing. Okay. So let's give the name e-commerce web app GUI testing okay, or GUI test template okay so this is how we can put the name then we can put any description here like um like the uh, about this template we can add this description just say that this template will be used for the web application mm -hmm. this template will be used for the web app GUI testing okay so this is how we can actually uh um put the description then we can mark as default so this one um if we mark this on so it will be a default for each test cases uh but uh if we don't mark it on then we can select we can change the template even if we mark this on also we can also change the template if we want so it just uh like if you are uh, creating a template generic yep it's showing by default okay so for that you can mark it on then here we are putting the field name okay so by default we are getting the field name is attachment so we cannot uh i mean re enable this or disable this uh, but we can just visible or invisible we can mark it on so let's say i don't uh okay let's put the attachment then the field name um um so the field name we want to attach like user story okay so we can have the user story then we can have the like test case um or we can test steps before that we have, may have the precondition preconditions okay then we can have the test steps right then we can have the expected result okay and we are not going to put the actual result because uh, the actual result when we are going to execute okay and we are going to tick that step so that is actually will be our actual result okay so i'm not going to add the actual result here then in there i can also add the comment okay so after this, what you can do, you can just simply save this. Okay, see so it's saved. Now if I, I can see here, I have the one template here. Okay, so after creating this template. Create multiple more templates, so it will be done quick. Okay, now quickly. so let's create another template and give the template name is like e-commerce mobile. Android, mobile browser. Uh, Android mobile browser not the mobile app android mobile browser template yep. okay and here we can also that this template will be used to execute mobile brow android mobile browser testing yep. okay then here also you can put the field name like the user story then um the preconditions then the test steps okay and same like expected result and the comment if we need so this is how we can like um add comments multiple yeah, comments then save this 
can do one for the iOS. So we are showing so many, so you guys know how, at the, how we implement something. You can do the iOS. Actually, we'll put the, uh, create a user story. Uh, the template should be able to clone. Thank you. Mobile browser uh, template. This template will be used to test to uh, uh, iOS mobile browser app testing. Okay. Then you can put the field name here also the same, like uh, user story. Then the test preconditions. Then test steps. Expected result. And comments. Okay. And if like we are, if we want to add uh, something different for this template, we can add more or we can update, we can edit, we can do based on the template. So I'm going to save. So right now we have three templates here for three different, different platform. Okay. So after this, uh, what we're going to do, Good, we're right? going to, yes.